At the end of the day, we've come to the point where the security will have to be maintained. But in the run up to that is to making sure that we gain the trust of the institutions that are going to police this election, i.e. the main organizers, the Electoral Commission, for which the Afrobarometer is already indicating trust is already low, even for security agencies, particularly the police. And now we have the military and their role from the last election. How do we make sure that that trust is maintained and get everybody to work towards this? Roland, good morning. Good morning to your viewers. Good morning to my auntie and my sister here. Good morning to Ghana. Roland, you see, in 2024, 7 December, nobody is going to impose on us a leader that we do not want. Nobody is going to use machinations and tricks to impose on us a leader that we do not want. No intimidation whatsoever. We change the trajectory of history. We change the trajectory of our freedom. We are going to vote in a manner and we are going to protect the ballot to ensure that whoever we want to lead us will be the person. There is no way we are going to let anybody machinate the poll. It will not happen. It will not stand. There is no way we are going to happen. No matter what they do, it will not happen. You see, um, Colonel Kujo, maybe I will forgive him because he's always been in the jungle. Yes. He's only managing the jungle warfare yeah, school. But he's in the jungle because if he wasn't in the jungle, he, he, does, he wouldn't speak to human beings like this. Are you saying he doesn't know what's happening? He, he's not used to human beings. That's why he's saying he, he will beat you. He's not used to being with human beings. So he should start learning. Maybe we should bring him back into the fold of the humans. Because you do, even as a measure of um, sanity, you cannot just get up and say, even your child, you can't just get up and say, you want to beat your child. Just for the, for the sake of it. And he was, you see, sometimes we need to be, we need somebody, I don't want to use the word vulnerable, but we need to be strong. This is a human rights issue. We haven't even started the, the process. And you are threatening that you beat people. And that even when there is a war or there is some kind of chaos, you will not go hungry because you pick your gun and kill somebody and take their food. Is it right for you to say that? You see, when people are in the jungle and they have not been relieved of the things in the jungle, we shouldn't bring them into humanity. You should let them be relieved of jungle issues before they come. Because seriously, he was talking to civilians. Certainly. And he wasn't talking to a command. He was talking to civilians and in a church. And how could he talk like Did he listen to himself? And why was he there? He was there to talk about a free and fair election. Why should you go telling people that you are going to beat them? Is he our father? You don't need a father to be beating us. Well, somebody will say he's only warning. Warning against what? Cautioning. Everybody knows that you need to leave the police. There's a perimeter that you cannot go if you, don't, you are not an election observer or you are not an agent. But couldn't he have said it nicely and kindly? That in case you do that, we will take you out quietly and nicely. Besides, he is in the military. The military is not part of the elections. It may be when Dampire gets tired or he's overwhelmed. That's when he's going to bring reinforcements. Talking about another military man who was supposed to be reprimanded but has been promoted. Brigadier Opoku. Brigadier Opoku could General. General. Brigadier General. And that is a top position that you do wrong and you are promoted. And Amadou doesn't love Ghanaians. Oh, how can you make those? Of course, but if, because if you love an experienced politician, you know, I am telling if you love somebody, you love a group of people, you would not bring somebody who inflicted pain and promote the person. Now, now the only thing he wanted to do was to be president and have his name in the books of history that he was once a president and his father was also a president. Yes, it's fine, it's a good ambition, but you have to do good by us. How can you mean? I never knew that this man had been promoted to the high rank of a brigadier general. The man could not look after troops. He could not contain 30,000 30, people at Ayawa so well. 
how can he contain five million voters in Ashanti region? How is he going to do that? That's if not training. chaos, but what training? He said he was responsible for the chaos at Ayawaso West Wogon. He said, I hold you hold me responsible. And the committee said, if we hold you responsible, then we are going to reprimand you. Tell the president, I, you see, sometimes I don't for uh, he formed some of these committees just for joke. Just to see. of you course. Say that. Ah, but the why president didn't, with all his why didn't he implement having become president is the commander in chief what, of the Ghana Forces. Why didn't he, he, yes, why didn't he implement the recommendations of the Mel Short Commission? Mm. You guys, he is making even a, a, a joke of the people, laughing at them. Just a fast. You said that you form a committee to investigate. You see, Nanado should know that he's ruling human beings, not people in the jungle. He's ruling human beings who are alive, who needs empathy, who needs love, who needs care. As a father of the nation, he should think about us. He should not always aggrandize himself as somebody who is like some, some pharaoh that we should all worship. Ramesses the second. No, his father was Ramesses the first. He is Ramesses the second. So he's a pharaoh sitting there, sitting on a high chair, and we should uh, um, always worship him. No. He should know that what he's doing, we have employed him. We have employed him as the head of this nation. We have given our resources to him to look after. He has dissipated our resources. We don't know what he has used it for. Galam said today, oil. We don't, there, there is no accountability. And now they want to also kill us using this election. We will not die. We will live to declare that Ghana is free. On 27 December 2024. And I am very serious about it. You see, but I am very happy. He's a very honest man. Um, the military man. Yes. Kujo. That's not kind of Kujo. Yes. He said that the only good thing we have in our country now is peace. So he has acknowledged that even free SHS is not working. Ah. He said the only good thing. Are you behaving like Natre? What's Natre? How did Natre come coming? Yes, but Roland, he's just a, <laughs> he's saying the free SHS that the government is always saying we've done free SHS, we've done uh, uh, um, this. It, he has told us. Yeah, but the man only said that the oh, good thing we have is peace. He said that you are, he with your deductive reasoning, you are saying that he said the only good thing we have different sectors of this this our life. <laughs> Different areas. He said the only good oh, thing. Women. The only good thing. <laughs> the only good thing that we have in this country is peace. So it means that the free SHS is possible. Did they over me already? <laughs> it's possible. He's telling us that the free SHS is no good. He's telling us that the NHIA is no good. He's telling us that the economy is horrible. Because he said the only good thing we have in this country is our peace. And I love him for that. He's been truthful. If only Dr. Baumia could be truthful like this, we would not have a problem. If only Nanadu could be truthful like this, that every day, everything free SHS. You see, Roland, if you have an exam and it is over 10, and the only one you get correct is one, question number one, free SHS, and you have failed all of them, it means you got one over 10. One over 10 is equal to failure. Do you get me? So, the man has done well by telling us the truth. Do you understand? All these machinations that are coming up. And sometimes I wonder what is wrong with the MPP. A group of people who are in opposition have come out to say that we have discovered this. That there is going to be some manipulation in Ashanti region. There is going to be chaos. Then you also reply by a press conference saying that the group of people have vigilantes in Ashanti region. If they have vigilantes in Ashanti region going to court here, you are in charge of the nation. Why should you come and tell us? You should deal with them. But don't they have a right to complain? They are just a political party. You, you, it is you, their party that forms just party the government. Your party is in government and you are complaining. Then we are in trouble. And that is why we are here, because you can't act. Your party cannot do anything. They cannot act. There is no action. Because if another political party who is in opposition has, uh, um, has some vigilantes, going to work for them on the 7th of December to create mayhem in Ashanti region. And you are complaining through a press conference. This equalization must stop. Now going to Kodeo. I've read the Kodeo, um, this thing, and me, I have a different view. For instance, they, they should come back a little bit. 
They said that incumbency advantage on the part of whom? We have PCs. In incumbency advantage. Yes. Incumbency means those in office. No, no, please. We have PCs, uh, parliamentarians, who are ministers, who are this thing, campaigning. We have Dr. Baumia, who is a flag bearer and his team. So between the two, which of them is abusing incumbency? Because if Dr. Baumia is abusing incumbency, then he's a Houdini, he's a confident trickster. The point is that you remember Houdini. He was a he was a magician and he was he was tricky. Because Dr. Baumia is always in a bus with his people. Branded MPP. I've never seen Dr. Baumia in a V8 on TV. Then maybe what they are showing us is different from what is happening on the ground. That they show us the bus and when the TV is off, they go back to the V8. Because they are telling us that there are V8s which, is, which has stickers of MPP. Do you understand? So they should tell us categorically. Well, what we see with our eyes on TV is like just Baumia says his promises. But... Now, Kodeo has deployed people around. I am saying so they should tell us. Because you see, the pieces too are campaigning. So the ministers and the flag bearer, where is the incumbency advantage? Because we need to know. Mm. We need to also understand that some of the PCs who are also ministers have V8s which are given to them from parliament. So they need to come and break down to let us know what they found out. So that we know whether Baumia is telling us, His Excellency Baumia is telling us the truth or not. Because we always see him in a big bus. I even saw him yesterday on your sister stage in a bus. His people coming out branded MPP. You and people are saying they're using the bus. So, so, so you're advocating for Kodeo to be more specific. Yeah, they should be more specific so that we know that Baumia is not his excellency Baumia is not lying to us. Because the optics are different from what you are seeing. They also said something like um they didn't see the presence of the other parties, the independents, but they're able to tell us that when it comes to feeding. Two, um, uh, two, two to one, one to two percent of the feeding of the people who come around for is the political party activities. Yeah, political party is accounted for by the independents and the other party, but they don't mention. They said there is no political activity by the other parties and the independent in their in their report. So it is more on the NDC and MPP. So how come they able to tell us that the in the independent and the other parties also give food, putting a, a, a percentage to it. I also want to say that when it comes to politics, sometimes food is not bribe. People come long distances and sometimes you feed them, not to influence them. And they said vote by. I, I don't understand what they mean by vote by. Maybe influence early. But vote buying on that day because if you on TikTok there are videos of sharing of bags of uh, uh -huh. money, physical money, uh -huh. I'll food on table. I'll forget. If you give me money today and I finish chopping it, I'll forget. Normally, vote buying is done on the day of the election, when people are going to vote. Then you have people mailing around, finding ways to influence them. Do you understand? So they, they, there should be some. There are some questions in there, and we need some clarity. But on the whole, up for MPP, they are finished. You see? The voters will determine that. Oh, I, no, but why not? Because you see, when they are hot, they go and call His Excellency Kofo to come and speak for them. When they are in trouble, and you see, every time they are in trouble, they go and call His Excellency Kofo to come and speak for them. Me, I have told you this election, you should look at three people, and that is what we are looking at to vote. Any one of them will be the former president Kufo's message was just to endorse about me to say that he's the ultimate, eh. and that he believes that no, he's but, a... but, but why should he come and tell us that? Why not? He's a former president, no, no, but you're a former. Uh -huh. I like that. I thought you said you said that he's a, he's a member of the MPP, no, no, he's a state. Uh -huh. So a statesman does not endorse one person. We have three, I uh, mean, typically, we have for me, we have three people in this race, Alan. Is essentially John Dramani Mahama. Then my own flag bearer, I can't take it out. So then you are telling me that all these three people, none can be good. 
they have a track record and as a statesman what you do is that you advise that Ghanaians should vote for the right immediately you mention a name you, you you cease to be a statesman you have put yourself in the color of a politician you think that's why Alan replied him like that Ah, because the way Alan replied him, eh, someone will say it was not fair. Alan has, has, has even kept too long. He should talk more. Alan didn't reply to him. He said the record straight. He said 70% of the policies that made your government successful was from me. And now you are telling me that I cannot be a president. He, he, he was just talking about what, what is in him. What is not, Alan shouldn't defend himself. Alan has been quiet all these years. That is where he is, where he is today. Maybe he could have been president long ago. I am telling you. So if Alan spoke, there's nothing wrong. Nobody should say that Alan, what he did was wrong. Who is saying that? Alan hasn't done it. He should defend himself. Even in Ashanti culture, you don't speak to your uncle like that. Oh. Eh? He didn't insult his uncle. Me, I also spoke. He's, all, he's our uncle. Me, he's my uncle. He didn't say there are words that are insulted. He didn't insult. He said, Uncle, so you are saying that I, I'm not I'm worth nothing. That is what it means. Do you get me? So if he's a, a statesman, he's a statesman, then he should remain a statesman for all of us. Uncle, I beg you. And I'm recreating it. I'm very, very worried about this. That you see, as long as there is Alan in the race, I we beg him. If he doesn't like John, that is not his party. But we beg him. <laughs> he should let it be. He should stay. He came back again with another video. Chief is in the race. So we beg him. That he should let it be. Mm. He should let Chief be. And let Chief do whatever he wants. If he thinks that. How can he think that Baumia is good for us when we are like this? People have died GDP. The, an economist who has not been able to turn this country around. A theoretical economist who can write books but cannot apply the theory. Is that what we need? I'm saying that what we need. All of them, this is let's John Dramani Mahama has a track record. Alan Che Martin has a track record. Do you get me? My my flag bearer has a track record through what Kwame Nkrumah did and what the CPP has done for this nation. So I am saying that. Are you saying that Alan is worth nothing? His Excellency John Mahama is worth nothing, and you are a statesman. You see, if the MPP thinks they are winning this election, why is this happening on free SHS? Free SHS. Vote for free SHS. Why not? Because it's a good policy. Because you see, if your soup is nice, giving access you, to everybody. You, you, you to see, go to if your soup is nice, you don't ask your husband every day, do you like the, the pepe? I don't do you understand. like the, Yes, your soup, if it is nice, so it speaks for you. It speaks for you. You don't ask your husband when your husband's friends are coming. You don't ask him to taste it and see if it's fine. You know that your soup is good. Two minutes. Mm. You see, how, I how, how, do I, we, I how do we get everybody to comport and I, then I, I also I don't know, even know why we are even talking. You know, remember His Excellency Nanado went to Kumasi and said that you can vote for NDC or whoever for all he cares. Oh, you oh, mean oh. when the, the, the host asks yes, him about yes, he said the it. concerns that yes, were raised about yes, roads? Yes, I don't know even why we are doing He said you can vote for NDC or for any other party for all he cares because your vote is yours. So he, he's not, so today if he says he's, so in his heart, he, he, he doesn't care. But, but, yeah, but now, I, he's I please, now he's campaigning for uh, um, Baumia, but he's the same person. So which one should we believe? He said it on Otek FM in Kumasi. That, I mean, for all he cares, you can vote for it. All person to me in this year, family, who be and now will be a person to me in this year. buy it, what buy? This is what he said. Are we not misrepresenting the president? How? What, it was a complaint about development. It does I think, not matter. Uh, and he, and he said that he, have said he was that going to do it on no, his face because uh, uh, the, the I am conditions saying have that been put in place He said for, something that was in his the, heart. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Is it not on record that he said that? Is it on record that he said that? Do you get me? So, I mean, and you see, the, the life of um, Ghanaians eh, is worth 46,000 Ghana cities. Because compensation was given to some of the families ahead in Tichiman. 
and they gave one of the families 46,000 Ghana cities, which is equal to the price of a Pragya. Pragya is 45,500. And the compensation that was given to one of the eight, the families, was what? 46,000 Ghana cities. Can you imagine? Can you just imagine? This is how worth we are. This is how the MPP sees us. This is how the government of Nanado Dankwa Kufuadu and His Excellency Baumia, this is how they see us. 46,000 Ghana cities. That money, I don't think, could have even done the funeral. 46,000 Ghana cities in this Ghana. Is that, is that fair? Is that right? I am asking you, Roland. Is that fair? You see, there's a video going around. We want peace. And we should have peace. But there's a video going around of somebody saying that the election is the first day of the election. Everybody is voting for number one. I have it here. What's wrong with that? Everybody. And that's after the second, third day. We will vote. Oh, you mean or Hineba of is it one to me? Yeah. Yes. That video. That, that, that we're gonna have two elections, yeah, but that's two, not true. Yeah, yeah, but I, I mean, but it's going round. What kind what, what kind of dishonesty is that? And that will also is, is a form a, a basis for creating chaos. How can you say that when you vote number one, then the rest will be will be done later? Can you just imagine this? Do we really want peace? And you see my sister Ellen here. We are not here to speak for MPP. So if whatever it is, we are not... No, no, seriously. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not happy with her statement. That when she was listening, we are all against... We are not here. We have not been employed to sit here. MPP hasn't given us a contract to speak for them. We are here to speak for the nation Ghana. To make sure that Ghana is good. If Atasetasi has hit us or not, that is neither here nor there. That is their own business. But we are not sitting here. I didn't leave my house to walk through traffic, to drive through traffic, to come and speak for MPP. I am to, also we're talking opposition. about peace. I am saying, up to this election. So that is the peace I'm talking about. So some of the things that we say will not bring peace. If you say Atasetasi Achimia, then do you know what it means in Ashanti? In Chi? What does it mean? It, it means that, me, 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 like Makov. Makov, say. Am I here, Basa Basa? No, no, yes, but how can you say that? You cannot say that. That's exactly what you meant. You cannot say that. She because... says that's her opinion. No, no, I am saying that, that, it, that she can't if say you that. say that your opinion Let is that we me. should not come here and talk about but you don't add and insult us. Do you get me? Ellen shouldn't come sitting here insulting us all. And then we're talking about peace in the run up. No, but if this is peace, you should also preach peace. If this is what they are bringing, we also give it to them. Okay. Ellen, how do we get everybody to the, so, this election so, so, knowing that they have a, so, a mind that so, so Roland, they you need sitting also here, to trust? You sitting here as the I'm not, I'm, I'm not for no, no, I am saying that <laughs> I, we need to make things right because Ellen cannot come here and insult us. <laughs> and I mean that, and I'm not joking. Don't, don't she, brush it over. I am serious. Okay. She, she should stop it. She should so stop doing I, that. We I tolerate will... her so many times. She should stop doing that. Using... Ever since she came, nobody has insulted her. Even when she does it, we keep quiet. We treat her as a younger sister. Peace. I'm serious. Peace. I'll repeat to myself. Peace. Peace. Why 